Hey guys, current energy update, current energy update. Y'all already know what time it is. We about to get into these messages. What's up tribe? Current energy update, current energy update. Let's tap into the cards and see what's going on with you guys' situation. These are your afternoon messages. Afternoon messages from the divine. Distractions are in the reverse. Can't nothing take you off your square. Can't nothing distract you. Okay. You are focused. Afternoon messages. Afternoon messages. The divine, please illuminate the messages for me, please. Yeah, all evil eye has been returned back to sender. Okay. Anybody wishing bad on you has been returned back to sender. Your health is improving. Okay. Congratulations. Yeah, all mirror magic has been backfired. Okay, and be mindful of the things that you listen to inputs. Hey, Deandra, yes, there's opportunities that's about to present itself in front of your face, in front of your eyes, get ready for a new beginning, and you're about to go through a transformation, metamorphosis energy. Clarify these, we finish, let's continue. What are the, the afternoon messages for you guys? That you are in spiritual alignment, you are manifesting your life desires, okay? New beginnings are here. Your chakras are fully charged and ready. You are in divine alignment. Congratulations. Yes, remember, for the ones who do need help to realigning yourself, you are, you have your team here. You have me. You have individuals that's here to help you. You have a community that wants to support you. You have angels. You have your spirit team here that wants to support you as well as a community on the physical realm that will support you, okay? Yeah, big happy changes are coming your way. And remember to continue to surrender your emotions, surrender your feelings, let God handle your light work. Surrender and don't think you can control this situation. You're not ever in control. Your divine team is in control. God is in control. You are not in control. When people start to think that they can control a situation, that's when they lose. Remember that you are just to be in the middle. You are here just to stand firm on both sides and take the beautiful energy God is giving you. You are to stand firm in your beliefs, your tr be trusting to yourself, be trusting and be uh, honorable with the knowledge that you know, okay? Stop trying to fight battles that are already over because the battle was already won, okay? Your message is today is to surrender, okay? Somebody could be 39 years old, 29, 41, 34. You're welcome. C. Davis, yes, it's time for some of you guys to take action or you took action. These are collective energies. Some of you guys are distracted here and you need to let go of these distractions and it's time for you to take action. Okay, some of you guys will get these opportunities while the rest of you guys need to work on yourself, okay? You need to work on not getting mad and not getting angry and going with the flow because you're trying to control a situation. You're trying to manipulate a situation. You're thinking that you know better and you don't. You need to let go and let God do the situation for you. I feel like that you're trying to, you're trying to make an outcome work in your favor and it's just not going to happen. You need to let go and let God, period. Yeah, because you're not going to be journeying. You will not journey towards this new thing that you're trying to control. If you're trying to control a situation in your life, God knows everything before you do. So why are you trying to outdo God? You're not God. Okay. Why are you trying to outdo God? Clarify this journey in the reverse. Yeah. Yeah. You will not be successful trying to outdo God. You will not be successful thinking that you have uh, the steps or the necessary uh, tools you need to move further in life. Some of you guys need to get out of this distraction energy. Some of you guys need to focus on what's the bigger thing, what's the bigger uh, picture here. Some of you guys need to focus on your own journey, 
on healing, on rebuilding, on being resilient and stop trying to be in control of a situation and let God be in control. Let your spirit team be in, the, in control because once you think that you're in control and they feel like they don't need to do shit for you. Since you, since you, since you know everything, since you feel like you know everything, then you don't need your spirit team then. So we're going to let this, we're going to, we're going to let y'all fight this battle by yourself. How about that? For the ones who think they don't need their spirit team or the ones who go above their spirit team or who go above God. So we're going to take our hands off of you and we're going to go ahead and let make we're going to go ahead and let you make this bed that you're making for yourself. How about that? We're going to do it like that for the ones who want to control their own journey, who, who think they have control of their own journey. You don't have to no control control of your will. God does. Who you think wrote the contract for you to live by? You, you think you bigger than God? You think you better than God? You think what? Who you think you are? You think because you got hurt and abused or because you went through this and you went through that, that you think that you can just go go over or go around here and, and hurt other people or harm other people? Man, get your ass on. Sagittarius, if you let God control the situation, then you will be successful. Any more? We're done? All right, let's close, let's close out. Let's close out these messages. Yeah, they said, hold up. Stop, stop thinking that you know everything because you don't know everything. I don't care how, of a, how much of a spiritualist or how much of a life coach you are. I don't care how much that you may think you know something. You don't know everything. Period. And somebody ancestors is in a reverse. This ancestor card came in a reverse. You need to have patience. You need to have patience and let your ancestors work for you. Through these obstacles. And stop playing with yourself. Anything else? All right. Yeah, because you're still dealing with, you thinking you're in control of these karmic relationships. Yeah, you think you can uh, achieve greatness out here, okay? You think you're going to be successful? Are they going to be successful? No, you won't be successful because caution is here, tower moment. You're about to receive a tower moment, thinking that you know how to fix a situation, thinking that you know how to outbeat a situation, thinking you know how to overcome a situation. If you ain't, if you are not working with your divine team and you doing this by yourself, you finna go through a tired moment because you don't listen. Some of you guys are assertive. You're very assertive or you need to be assertive and you have romance coming your way. For some of you guys, because you stay resilient and it's a yes for you. Yeah, I feel like that you let go and you set your boundaries. You can let go of boundaries to this person that's coming towards you. And I'm gonna go ahead and end it. Have a great day, guys. I love you. Like I said, you have some people who wants to control a situation. Some people who feel like because things are not happening for them, how they want it, when they want it, you know, they feel like they can do better than their spiritual team. And that's when they're going to fall flat on their goddamn face. And they will receive a tower moment. You got some people who have let go, who have surrendered, and they're about to get blessed in front of their, you know, in front of their tribe. You got some people who got love coming towards them, okay? We have some people who are in a spiritual alignment here, right? It's going to be all indifferent for some of you guys. Like I said, all uh, mirror magic, all of uh, the evil eye has backfired, all of the mirror magic has backfired. You have opportunities coming your way. These messages are collective, not individual. You will be going through a transformation, whether this is a spiritual transformation or if this is a mental transformation or a body transformation. You guys are about to go through some type of um, improved health here because you listen to the divine. Yes, I'm talking to you because you let go of boundaries, of um, a stagnant behavior, of an attitude, right? You stayed resilient. You stayed stood. You stood fast. You stood fast. I'm picking up um, Charlotte Leeds, Charlotte Leeds, lead, lead better, led better. You lead better or you led better or something like that. You led better for, for your community to follow you. You lead. Some of you guys could be leaders is what I'm hearing. Yeah, be careful what you listen to because everything that you listen to, it ain't your message or is, is giving you some type of um, vibration that you think that you are the best or that you are low. I don't know. Something about what you're listening to. You need to be mindful. Clarify this input. I got to get out of here. Yeah, you need to trust where you're led. Stop listening to all these tarot card readings. Stop listening to all these spiritualists and go by your own intuition. Hey, Pamela.
Yeah. And you need to trust in your own instincts instead of trying to find out and trying to get day find out when this person is doing this and when this person is doing that. You need to be listening to your own self intentions and worried about other things to do with your life instead of worried about what this next person is doing to come into your life or what they're doing and or, or what kind of energy they're sending your way. It's not your business. It's your divine team's business. So why are you worried about something that, ain't, that has nothing to do with you? Because your spiritual team got this. You need to trust in yourself. You don't trust in yourself, okay? Yeah, I told you, your community, and you don't trust yourself. Yeah, you're, you're unpeaceful here for some of you guys. Not everybody, but some of you guys, okay? You got a community of people that you listen to. You got, I don't know how many readers that y'all listen to here. Y'all need to got they stop and listen to all these guys and they and they and they, and they feeding y'all heads with all kind of messages and y'all don't know which way to go because y'all keep listening to these different messages out here because y'all yeah and you not getting a, a clear understanding of what's going on. Get a reading in. All right, if you need a personal reading, you can reach me at 980-312-7821, 980-312-7821. These are your afternoon messages. I will be back with late night messages later on today. Thank you guys for listening. I'll talk to you soon. Peace be with you. Ashe, namaste, amen. You're welcome, Krista, and I'll see you soon. Are we done? Hold up, let me do one more. I got one more I got to do. Yeah, like I said, I told you, y'all need to get more information. Y'all be going to them fake tarot card readers. And they be giving y'all some goddamn bogus information. It ain't my fault you still here. Y'all still got me get going to tarot card readers and still be coming on my page looking at my goddamn energy to see if the energy conducive. And y'all need to go ahead and get a personal reader and stop watching these readers. Get a reading. Because you get, you getting confused with these collective energies, ain't you? You don't know which way to go, do you? Cause you trying to get that you don't want to pay for the services or you don't want to you don't want to uh, invest in services here and you listening to collective energies and you think that and you think those are your energies that was ain't your energy that's a collective energy you need to go ahead and get get confirmation for yourself Chad clarify yeah yeah you need to surrender or are you scared that whatever you find out you could you may find out that you're a karmic or you may find out that whatever situation you're gonna have to deal with. You don't want to have to deal with these emotions. Okay, so the net, the, the problem is that the reason why y'all don't get personal readings is because y'all scared of the truth. You scared of getting on, getting blasted out. You scared that your energy may not be as divine as you think it is. That's why you're scared. So this is why you come to collective readings because you're trying to see what's best in your energy, but you don't even know what's best for yourself. And that's why you come to collective readings. Yeah, you ain't ready. Like I said, it's in a reverse. You need to love on yourself. And we're going to end out this message. You need to choose a new direction. And stop trying to, trying to figure out what's going on in, your, in other people's lives and worry about your own goddamn self. That's what you need to do. Yeah, you need to start. You need to focus on your own well-being. F focus on that third eye. Focus on elevating and growing and building and learning. Thank you, uh, Lightning Bolt. Thank you, Queen. But you be coming here on my tarot channel trying to figure out how you can bring stability. You will never receive stability out coming off my channel. Now, if you not if you're trying to use this energy and you're trying to intercede in somebody else's path and you're trying to see how you can use a cheat sheet to cheat your life, you will never win on this channel. You always lose because we don't we don't we don't we don't do cheat codes over here. Period. Yeah. Y'all can, you can laugh now, and your ass gonna be crying later, la later. Laugh now, cry later. Yeah, your ass gonna be crying like a motherfucker when these angels come through and got them ready to tat tat that ass, and your ass ain't gonna be having no fun. <laughs> laugh now, cry later, right? Yeah, yeah, cause y'all karmic as fuck. Like I said, you scared to get a reading because you a karmic ass motherfucker. That's the hit karmic relationships, and you are, yeah, and you're gonna have obstacles. Yeah, and you will not be journeying anywhere, and your ancestors, <laughs> These are your ancestors. They trying to lead you to transformation, but you don't want it. Yeah, you don't want it. You don't want to change. No. And you're, you're going through health problems here. <laughs> yeah, but you're going to be blessed, though. You already know, Diana. You blessed, though, 22. You and perfect, perfect Union here, 22. 22 is here. Yeah, some of you guys are going on the right path. Somebody over here praying. They over here praying. <laughs> yeah. A Sagittarius in the reverse. They're not answers, their prayers are not getting answered. Yeah. And uh, uh, the rest of you guys got love coming towards you. 
Yeah. Yeah, your twin flame may wear necklaces in here. You guys have balance here, okay? So y'all already know fours break down to eights. Eights breaks down to fours, whatever the case may be. This is a new cycle, and you will be abundant. Some of you guys can be African, and this will not happen within a year. This is going to happen fast, and people are going to be mad, jealous. Somebody who like to get their nails done, this Leo energy, was trying to do mirror magic on you, and they backfired. Pitch. Let's get out of here. We done. These are your afternoon messages. I got to get back to work. I love you guys. Peace.